Hello, I'm Rebecca of Pocketful of Posies. Today's project is a little autumn-inspired project. I am making some cute little pin cushions out of wool, and I'm going to embroider some autumn designs on them. I hope you enjoy it, and without further ado, let's get to it. Here we go! Because my pieces were a little small for my embroidery hoop, I decided to basically flatline it and then leave a large border around the wool so that I could put it in my embroidery hoop with no problems. After I'm done, I can cut that excess off and then put the pin cushions together. The embroidery I made a couple of little designs in SketchUp and it's a pretty easy free app that you can use. You can use it on a phone, a tablet, a computer, really anything, uh, any device. I poked holes around the design so I could mark the outline with my chalk pencil. The outline is very, very faint, but I can see it well enough to draw it in a little bit better. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm just going to take my chalk pencil and connect the dots. I went around the design with an outline stitch. I'm not the most precise of embroiderers. I ended up outlining around the top of the mushroom in a lighter color later. Okay, so I got all of the outline done, and it's not exactly <laughs> my original idea. It's close, but mostly because the the um, chalk got rubbed off at some places, so I was just kind of going from memory. So I still need to fill in the little circles. And I'm going to fill in the stem of the mushroom and the leaves. I'm going to leave the top of the mushroom not filled in and just fill in the little circles. Okay, for the little pumpkin, I am going to use this nice rich green and orange. And this one's going to be much simpler because I'm just going to outline it. I used a stem stitch for the pumpkin and added French knots for some cute little flower buds. The next step is super easy. It's just 
pinning the pincushion's right sides together and sewing around the edges, leaving an opening to turn. I used a back stitch to attach the two pieces. I will be filling these with a little polyfill as well as some ground pecan shells. I think they're pecan. I'll make sure. Now just turning the opening in and closing it with a slip stitch. And that is that. Super quick and easy. And you can embellish these however you would like to. You could add piping around the edges if you wanted, or you could add lace. Really, whatever you want. You could embroider them or not. It's kind of up to you whatever you'd like to do. I just thought it would be good to have some projects to do while I my back is still not quite right but it is recovering but I am still spending a good amount of time in bed and I get bored and so I thought it would be good to have some things to keep my mind and my hands occupied. What kind of projects do you like to do if you are not feeling well or you have a chronic condition or serious pain or an injury or something? Do you have any from the bed projects that you like to work on, let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you spending your time with me. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't, and if you'd like to be notified whenever I upload, you can hit that little bell icon. To support the channel further, I have a coffee account and that is linked down below. Again, thank you so much and I will see you on our next sewing adventure. Bye!